Good morning and welcome to a very cold and very frosty Range 360 um, just outside Plovdiv here in Bulgaria. Um, we're in the, the last week now of the, the Horizon Level 3 SIA Close Protection course um, and we're kind of going on all this week's just going to be predominantly hostile. In fact, it's going to be all hostile. Um, some changes, I just wanted to come on here. I've got like, you know, nine and a half minutes. Um, to tell you about some of the changes that are going to happen next year with the Horizon CP course over here in Bulgaria. So um, we are moving from an 18 day course to a 21 day course, um, simply because um, I want to add in uh, new stuff into the course, okay? Um, some of the stuff we're going to add in uh, is going to be a, a day up at a racetrack, which is about half an hour from here. Uh, just doing some CP driving techniques. Uh, we're also doing a driving commentary day where we will drive up into the country, um, navigation, route planning, and uh, that all important driving commentary uh, between the TL and the BG. And uh, the other thing we're going to throw in is an extra day of the hostile stuff, um, but it's going to be live firing. So live firing foot contact drills, live firing vehicle contact drills. But uh, these contact drills that I'm talking about, um, uh, they're not going to be choreographed, okay? Um, we're not going to have the principal uh, directly behind the BG um, holding on to the, the, the BG's hips. Because that doesn't happen. You know, when, when does that ever happen? So um, the, all the, 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 the stuff that we're doing will be realistic um, based on stuff that has happened. Um, there'll be four five-man CP drills, live firing, um, it's on foot, in vehicles, lots of movement, lots of crossovers, um, lots of bangs, and it should be um, it, it should be quite good fun. So that's the kind of things we're going to add in. Um, we're also reducing the amount of courses that we're doing here, um, and uh, me personally, I want to go for quality rather than quantity so next year there's only going to be four MCP courses run here a um, couple of things I want to speak to you about um, with uh, regarding anybody watching this who is thinking about um, making that transition into the close protection industry first of all the close protection industry is a great industry irrespective of what anybody tells you or irrespective of what you see on social media okay and i don't say that just to get you on courses okay this is a fact there are jobs out there you just need to go look for them and you just need to start doing the right courses and having the right attitude okay i will certainly help you with employment after this course all right there's no guarantee of employment but I will certainly help you with employment because we have a number of companies that recruit directly from us and that will continue next year. Just be aware though that attending this course doesn't guarantee you an interview and getting an interview will not guarantee you a job. Okay, that's totally down to you at the interview process. It's not down to me. Okay. Um, a couple of other things I would like to speak to you about is just um, um, general things that crop up throughout a course. And rather than repeat myself on, a, on every single course, I just wanted to come on here and, and just and get them out there. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is, is your age, okay? I'm 52. I've been in the close protection industry only for the last 12 years. I started my uh, my close protection career in 2006, okay? Think about how old you are, whether it be young age, old age. Think about your age before you come on a course. The CP industry requires a certain amount of life skills, okay? And it also re requires a certain amount of physical ability. So and that's all I want to say on that. But just think about your age, please, before you come on. Um, the other thing is, is physical fitness. A three-week course, a three-week CP course is just not long enough to get anybody fit. Me, personally, I don't see the point in doing one physical assessment on the course 
to then turn round and say, right, you need to work on your fitness. Everybody knows that you need to work, that we need to work on our fitness. Everybody knows that. It doesn't, it doesn't take a fitness assessment with which to come to that conclusion. The course already has physical aspects on it and the kind of fitness that certainly I'm looking for is not if you can run a mile and a half in seven minutes. I don't really care about that. that that's a great achievement. I certainly couldn't do that, but that's not what I'm looking for on this course and it's not really what the CP industry is looking for. It's looking for that explosive functional fitness. And on this range, there's, there's plenty of opportunity to do it because we have tractor tyres, we have sledgehammers, we have those big massive ropes, we have pull-up bars and we can do a great training programme here. The other thing I wanted to speak to you about was driving. If you don't hold a driving licence, you can still come in this course. But you need to tell me that in the email because if you tell me in an email that you don't have a driving licence, I'm going to reply to you saying, right, there are certain aspects of this course that require learning outcomes to be successfully achieved. Driving is one of them. So if you don't have a driving license, you can come on the course, no problem, but you probably won't pass the course because you will not successfully pass the learning outcomes. I don't make that rule, Horizon don't make that rule. That is an SIA stroke awarding body rule. If you are a nervous driver, and or maybe you've never driven a manual car, then I suggest that you maybe address that prior to come on the course, okay? You don't get to choose whether it's manual or automatic. It's certainly in the close protection industry, you get given what you get given. The two most important things though that, that I just want to finish off is, is um, your attitude your attitude towards, not just this course, but your attitude towards going into the close protection industry. If you're joining this industry to make a lot of money in a short time, that's probably not the right motivation to come on the course or to join the industry. Um, you can make, a, 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 not a lot of money, but you can make possibly more money than you would earn somewhere else, maybe, but it's not going to be the £500 a day that, that, that you maybe think it is. It's going to be way less than that. And depending on your personal circumstances, depending on what country in the world that you live in, will depend whether or not working for $150 a day is good enough for you. It might not be good enough for some of you, and it might be a lot of money for, for others. And that's just the way that goes. So please... Think about your attitude, have the right attitude to come, to come on the course and join this industry. The last thing is passion. You've got to have passion for it. You've got to have passion for kind of anything that you do, anything that we do in our lives, you've got to have passion for it. You've got to have something that's going to get you out of bed in the morning. If you don't have passion for the close protection industry and for the, the close protection uh, trade craft and mechanics and that, that skill set that you're going to go into, you're really going to struggle. You've got to have passion for it. It's a people industry. It's about interpersonal skills. It's about your personality. It's not about how many pull-ups you can do. It's not about the little tight groupings that you can get. That's good and that's important, but you will get a job based on your attitude, your interpersonal skills, your personality, before you get a job because you've got a, a, a two centimetre grouping, okay? Irrespective of what uh, YouTube and, and Facebook tells you. So please have the passion, have the correct attitude. And if you have both of those, you will have a successful course. And everything else that, that you don't know how to do, I'll teach you. But I can't teach attitude, and I can't teach interpersonal skills, and I can't teach passion. Okay, I can try and encourage that in you, and I can try and invoke that in you. But that's down to you to be receptive to that. Everything else, I can teach you. This is a great industry, and it's a great course, and you'll love it if you come on it. Okay, have a great day. Whatever you're doing, have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon.